The Canon G7X Mark II is one of the weirdest cameras, if not the weirdest, in terms of how viral it goes every other year and how unavailable this camera is. Anyway, people are going batshit bonkers for this camera and they have every right to do so, and I'll tell you why. Now I've owned the Canon G7X Mark II a total of three times, and although it's a great camera, it's one that I just kept selling over and over and over again because eventually I got bored of it. But just because I got bored of the camera doesn't mean that it's not a phenomenal point and shoot. I recorded a group of videos with the Canon G7X Mark II in places like Mexico, places like Park City, Utah. I'll put some of those in the description. I'll put one right here. I even did some RAW versus JPEG settings and it was hands down one of my most favorite cameras. And if you're looking to purchase a Canon G7X Mark II at this current moment in time, you won't be able to get one anywhere because this camera keeps selling out online and it's currently unavailable anywhere. And it's because the Canon G7X Mark II is a little baby beast of a camera. Sure, the video capability is kind of maxed out at 1080p, but what you're buying this camera for the most is the quality of photos that you get with its 20.1 megapixel sensor. It's a digital point and shoot camera, but it almost looks a little bit filmic with the photos that it produces. And that's one of the biggest characteristics that I loved about the Canon G7X Mark II, which ultimately makes me regret selling the three Canon G7X Mark IIs that I owned. Aside from the unique photo characteristics that you get with the G7X II, it also feels really good in your hands. The build is awesome, the rubber, the metal, even the little flip LCD screen gives you a little bit more autonomy to go and take photos in secrecy and be less intimidating when you're pointing this camera in someone's face. Now, when I bought the G7X II, they were priced at about $629, but now, You'll find them for $699, $729, or in some places, even $1199. So the resale value on these cameras is complete insanity right now. And I fully understand why. It's a camera that I wish I still had in my arsenal. It's a camera that I still wish I was making videos with. And if you're here to answer one question, should I buy the Canon G7X Mark II? I say, hell yes, purchase that camera. Don't be stupid like me and sell it because I actually plan on buying the G7X Mark II again once Canon actually gets it out in stock. So yes, I'm here to add to the hype of the Canon G7X Mark II in 2024. There's just something special about this camera. There's just a feeling that you get when you shoot with this camera. There's just something amazing about the photo quality that you get. And most importantly, there's a super fun characteristic about this camera when you take it out and use it. I own more expensive camera systems like the Ricoh GR3 that I wish had the same flip up LCD capability of the G7X2 so that I can shoot from the hip and be more discreet and get shots like these. I really just think that Canon made the perfect point and shoot and gave us everything that we wanted 10 years ago and now they're seeing the reward from it. And listen up, I'm a pro videographer, 1080p is totally fine for YouTube for your content creation. You don't need 4K, but one thing I will say about this camera is if you're looking to use it as a webcam, avoid it because it's not going to give you any functionality as a webcam. But considering how awesome the photos are and just how much of a beast this little camera is, I still recommend it. I've got hours upon hours of footage using the Canon G7X Mark II and I'm going to link those right here and right here. Again, listen, if you're looking to buy a sweet, awesome point and shoot for around $700 that you're not going to get sick of, that you're going to enjoy using, that you might be even to just resale and recoup all of your funds or even get more money later in the future, then the Canon G7X Mark II is for you. 